Hey you all, I hope your day is going great. In this video you will learn how to build a design for our budget application. And as you can see I'm on Figma which is a very cool design tool which you can use completely for free. So just go to www.figma.com, I'm going to have a link down in the description. And simply sign up for free using your Google account or just make an account with them. And then create a new project and you should have this view as well. And now that we're here we can hit F which is the frame tool or just click on this button right here and then you can go to desktop and then hit desktop. I will change the dimensions now to a 1920 by 1080. That's full HD. So this view is going to be basically the view where our user first gets into the application and it simply just displays that we don't have any projects yet. So I want to make the background a bit darker actually, kind of a grayish. Oh that's too dark, just a tiny tad. And then go to the rectangle tool or just hit R. And drag out a nice box like that. You know we're not going to make a pixel perfect design, just kind of a guideline for us to go off of when we are building it in HTML CSS. So change the fill to a completely transparent actually. And then go to the stroke and hit plus. And now we can change the weight to an 8 I guess. That looks good. And then the stroke color should be a bit darker. Yeah that looks good as well. So I'm just going to copy and paste this hex value. Or oh, just copy it for now and we're going to paste it later. And now we can click on these three dots on the side to add a nice dash effect. And I'm going to go with the value of 40. That looks good. And then you can hit plus on the effects which will give us a nice drop shadow. And now we want to select the text tool or just hit T and type in sorry. You don't have any projects yet. And we don't get anything because I have the wrong font selected. So just type in Montserrat. And that should look fine. So now go to the rectangle tool again and we want to drag out a nice button which we can click and then add a new project. So change the fill as well. Just kind of realigning elements as we go. And then hit the plus on the effects to get a nice drop shadow. And then go back to the text tool. And this is simply going to say add project. Capital P. And now as you can see I have another site open which is the font awesome cheat sheet. So just go in the description and you can click the link and once we're here we can hit Control F and we get this little pop-up and just search for the plus and can enter our way to finding it and as you can see this is it so just select it and hit Control C and actually that's quite cool about Figma so we can simply select the text tool, add a new text and then change the font family to font awesome. And all we have to do now to get the symbol itself is just paste it using Control V. And just like magic it pops up. So change the fill to a solid white. So now we can go ahead and create the main view which is going to display all of the project details themselves. And again hit the frame tool. New desktop and then change the dimensions again to 1920 by 1080 and we can select the other desktop and just go to the background color and copy it and then paste it again. So in this view we want to have a three column layout at the very top which displays all of our statistics. So just drag out a nice box and then change the fill to a solid white. Actually I think the background is kind of too light so let's make it a bit darker. And 
And now we can just see how the dimensions are looking. So I'm just going to copy paste it three times. And that should be fine. So just get rid of the other two because we are only going to focus on one and then just copy it into the other two spots. So first of all, we want to have a nice caption. So just select the text tool and type in total budget. And then just put in a pseudo number like 3000. Now we can select everything and just hit Ctrl G to group it and I'm going to name this grouped object widget and then simply hit Ctrl D. Now we should have it twice and then hit it again. And you see Figma automatically recognizes that we want to have a row so that's taken care for us. So that's looking fine. And now we want to have a list of all of the expenses. So just drag out a box for that. And change the fill to a solid white again so we can see it better. And give it a nice effect. And last we want to add in a button which allows us to add a new expense. So just go to the rectangle and drag it out. And this one should be a green. Okay. Then add in a nice caption. Well, actually we can go back in here and just copy and paste it and we'll have it already so there's no need to do it again. And this should be about it for this part actually. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to leave a like if you did and stay tuned for the next part. Cheers!